hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is valentino in today's video you will learn how to create an event flyer in photoshop so i will show you step by step on how to get it done in photoshop so let's get started so this is the flyer we are going to design so i'll i'll, I'll show you how to do something like this so let's get started so the first thing you're going to do is to create a new workspace so to do so go to file new so i'll be using 10 by 10 inches so let's rename this event flyer event flyer so hit create so leave everything as default okay so hit create so next let's bring our and bring in our background This is our background. Let's import it. Hit enter. Okay. So let's um, bring in a um, second background. Okay. So if you if you import this, so you hold shift on your keyboard, then drag to fit it on the screen. Okay. Hit enter. Change the blending mode to screen. Screen. Okay. So go to fire filter blur cash and blur. So my blur is in 18. So change your own to 18. Okay. 18. So select this um, elliptical mask tool. Okay. Then draw it, drag and draw it, drag it and drop it like this. Okay. Then right click on your mouse, select inverse. Okay. Then go to adjustment layer, select solid. Okay, so I'm using this, something like this, this color. Okay, so go back to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, so it so be like this. So let's change the blending mode. So let's change the blending mode. Try to look. Okay. Look very fun. Let's change to another one. So let's use. I'll be using this color bone. Okay. That's that's the one I use. Okay, color bone. Let's um, import our pictures. Five place embedded. So I will embed links. I will embed um, a link that will lead you to where you download everything I used for this project. So I will embed in a link in a file. I will put all the links in a file and embed it in, in the description below so that you'll be able to download every um, resources I use for this project. Okay, so let's continue. So let's import this. Right click on your mouse, flip horizontal so that it will face like this. Okay, so I think this is cool now. This is okay like this. So hold control on your keyboard select the two pictures hit ctrl d to group group it then click on this adjust your um, layer mask create a layer mask select your brush tool make sure your brush, brush tool is like this my own is my own size is 700 hardness zero and then clean to feather the edges edges of the picture okay so i think this is okay like this so hit ctrl s to save so always save in case um if case if you're in case your system crash or you have you have any issue during the process so that you won't lose your work okay so i just re re reduce the opacity of this um thing i created okay so create a new empty layer okay select your brush tool Use um, bracket button on your keyboard. It is it is beside um, enter. 
use it and in, to increase the size of this brush okay so select white make sure it's in pure white hit enter so click so i want to add a little glow glow whites on, on the background okay so see this is what we just added okay so go to file convert convert to to smart objects okay then go to camera raw okay so increase the clarity reduce the black increase the shadow okay okay yeah it's okay it's okay like this so increase the red because his his style most of his style okay i think it's okay Hold control control T to transform. Increase the picture a little bit. Okay. Let's, let's delete this. I think this is not necessary. So we'll be using these two backgrounds. Okay. Hit Ctrl S to save. Yeah. So let's type in our test. Event fly. Event fly. Control T to transform. Hit enter. Okay. So highlight flyer. Control Control X to cut it. Then Control V to paste. Control T to transform. Then increase the size. This is how it should be. So hold control, select the two layer, align to the center, bring it up a little bit. Okay, let's change the fonts. So click on test two, click on this um, test um, panel, then change the font. So I will still embed links to download all the fonts i use for the project okay so don't worry so let test two align it to the center sorry sorry okay so align it to the center like this okay good con press ctrl g to group the two tests okay so go to file place embedded go to download so I will I will insert a golden background in the two tests. Okay, so hold shift on your keyboard, drag to fill it to fill up the test. Okay, hit enter. Right click on this um, golden layer. You see a creates a clipping mask. Click on it. This background will be clipped inside this test. Okay. So, as 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 the background is selected select this grouped layer then group it again okay so create a new empty layer select your brush tool measure the size is not much measure it is white is it is white okay so add a little white here so that it tends to pop out okay? This is cool now. So let's um, bring in other tests. So let's type in digital skill. Acquisition. Change it to this color. See the color code 9292. 292 okay that's the color code so we're using nexa nexa font style change it to board ctrl t to transform increase the font okay so click on the test to open the test delay panel okay and bring this together it's too wide okay so click on this um warp test Make sure your test tool is selected before you open this test wall. 
So click on this arc, reduce it like this. Okay, this is okay. So I think this is cool now. So select the two tests, acquisition and the, top, the one on the top, align them to the center. Okay, this is cool now. Control T to transform, increase it. Control S to save. Okay, this is cool. Uh, let's and uh, type in the remain test. Select the test to click and drag. So we want to create a dummy test. A dummy test here is a test that doesn't make sense. Just use it for for example to fill up a space. We are a Read test will be okay, so that's dummy test. So we'll be using a dummy test here. We'll be using a dummy test here. Control T to transform. Hit enter. Click on the test to click. Sorry. So let's bring this together. It's too wide. Control A to select all. Adjust it a little so that it will come together. It's too wide. Ctrl T to transform. Increase it a little bit. Ctrl T to transform. Reduce. Hit enter. Click on the test to flip. Um, align to the right. Align them to the right. This is cool. Ctrl S to save. So let's select the let's type in the next so guys um, if you like what i'm doing and you want to support me to be able to um, produce more tutorial to post more tutorial please go to my channel if, if 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 this is your first time coming to my channel go to my channel like and turn on the notification okay go and do it I hope you have done that so let's continue so let's type in um, the name other test that's one right 20 control control t to transform hit enter no. I like this turn to try. Uh, pick, pick yellow from here. Uh, we even that type of yellow. Okay. This is cool. So let's type in the other test. Duplicate this, control J to duplicate it, then drag it down here. So I'll be using it for their names. James Val. Connector. Connector. So, reduce the size a little. Okay, so this is cool. Control T to transform, reduce it a little. Control J to duplicate it more too. Then so I'll be using under test for this Frank Frantino Frantino Post Post Frantino Post This is good Select the test two names Then align them to be on the same line By clicking on this Control S to save. So let's um, input our date, our venue. Sorry, let's invent that. 
English and Rock. Hit enter. So bring it here. Double click on the layer. Go to color overlay. Okay. If you click on the color overlay. Go hover over to this place. Pick color from here. Hit OK. Okay. So let's um, bring in our dummy test too. That's what we'll be using here. Control A to select it, then increase it a little. Pick a color. Bring it down a little. So, uh, control T to transform. So, I think this is cool. This is um, very, very amazing. So, let's. Um, Kind of, our our blacks are kind of faint, okay. So let's um, improve it. Let's add, make it a little darker. Let's make it a little darker. I think this is this is better, okay. So highlight this, pick color from here, okay. And select these two. Sorry. Press Ctrl A. Select all, pick color from here too. So go to this place, pick color here too. Then highlight these two, pick color from here. Okay, so click on the test tool oh, again once more. Control A to select it. This one, pick color from here. Then double click on the layer for the um, location icon. Pick color from here. Okay. So we'll just change um, all the colors to, uh, to make them more, add more black to it so that it won't look fancy. So let's um, bring in the last, um, our, last our last icon. PNG image. So let's set this in place. Hit enter. Control J to duplicate it. Bring this here. Control J to duplicate. Bring this here. Control T to reduce it. Okay. Control J to duplicate it. Bring this kind of bring it here. Control J to duplicate it. Bring it here. Okay. So hold shift, then select all these duplicated layers, then control G to group them. Okay. Convert to smart objects. I'm converting the grouped layer. So then go to far filter blur. Cache and blur. Okay. So let's reduce the blur a little. Okay, I blow is let's say let's use 10. 10 is okay. Uh, so this is uh, so let's arrange this design a little more. So let this when you group it, bring this, bring it down a little, then go to their names, select the two. Uh, let's look for the picture. Okay, this is the picture. Bring it down. Control T to transform. Let's increase the picture more. more, more, more. Okay. So take this up. I want to group them earlier. Control G to group them. I think this is okay. This is looking awesome. Okay. Control S to save. So Let's summarize this design. Okay. So to do so, hold Control, 
hold control on your keyboard, hold shift, alt, then press E to merge all these layer you see here to merge all of them in a single layer. Okay, so I've merged all this layer in a single layer. Okay, so go to filter camera roll. It increase the clarity, open the shadow a little, bring down the highlights so it won't be too white. Okay, and go go to this SSL um, adjustment, increase this this orange, increase yellow, increase green. Okay, there is no green on the design. So I think that's all. Increase the red. Okay. That is red on his thigh. Okay. I think this is okay. I think this is okay. So it's okay. okay to apply it. So this is the before undo. This is the after redo. Okay. Control S to save. So Hold Control Shift to save as. You can actually do it from here. Go to File, Save as. Okay. Change it to J J J JPEG JPG JPG. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. So let's open the final result of our design. Okay. Event flyer. Okay. This is what we just did now okay this is the final result of what you just this did now okay so guys if today if if today is the first time you are visiting to my visiting my channel please like and subscribe and turn on the notification so that you receive notification every time i drop new video i drop video every week okay so thanks for watching and if you're already in your in the channel please like and comment if you have any question ask me in the comment section i will be happy to answer you so, thanks guys thanks for watching see you guys next time bye